And the BAFTA goes to Channel 4 News, Paris Massacre. Well, BAFTA, thank you very, very much. This is a wonderful thing. Uh, we work very hard for it against great competition. Wonderful other teams were in the field. It was, I would say, the most testing evening I've ever known in news television. It was very, very, very emotional. It, it, was, it ripped the heart out of Paris. It was a devastating experience, and uh, it was a struggle to get into the screen, but, but our wonderful team, um, we all pulled together, and that was it. But this BAFTA, we want really for Sarah. Sarah is one of our most brilliant producers. She cannot be here tonight. She knows why, we know why, and we want to send, we want to send her all the love in the world. Um, I just want to pay tribute to Jonathan Rugman, who was our correspondent on the, on the scene with Lindsay Hilson. She can't be here because she's on assignment. Uh, Fede uh, is our, our foreign affairs organizer. He's the man who pulled all the levers to make it happen. And the best of all is Ben Depere, the finest editor in the business. Thank you all very, very warmly. Channel 4 News, the Paris Massacre. Congratulations, you've won yourself a BAFTA. Uh, it's a wonderful thing, though. It's terrible to win it for such a dreadful event, but it was a very testing event, and uh, this team did brilliantly. Can I just ask, how on earth do you decide which images you're going to use in, in a show of something that is so tragic, as you say? Well, to be absolutely honest, I mean, you've got to deal with whatever you can get. I mean, you're out there filming. Obviously, any images that you collect yourself with a cameraman, you know what to pick. Sure. Uh, it, but the, obviously, there's a huge number of other pictures coming in from other agencies, mm -hmm. which are probably absolutely vital and must be run. Um, I think it's, it's news value. We've just got to judge what is really important to enable the viewer to be right inside what happened. Mm. And how difficult is it to kind of feel, you know, unaffected or at least be unemotional in the face of such tragedy when you're right up close to it? Uh, it, it is difficult. I mean, I, I, this, is, this is really a job for John more than anyone else. But um, uh, I think the most important thing is you, you realise if you do this for a while is that it's not you who's been affected by these events. It's really important that you tell people who's, who have been affected by it. And, and if, you, if you ever stray across that line, sometimes you can do it for the right reasons, but you're not actually not helping the viewer or, or those who've been affected. I had to interview a doctor, a young woman doctor, um, who had been in one of the bars when the bomb went off. She was at the back, uninjured. Everybody at the front was killed. Everybody halfway across uh, was struggling for life. And she was desperately giving life support to them. One of them died under her hands, but the neighbor was her friend, his friend. And in order to try and keep the friend alive, she continued to give this man resuscitation even though he was already dead. And, you know, she gave that interview to us. I feared I'd exploited her in using that. But she wrote to me and asked for three CDs to send her family in, in Australia. And I thought, well, in the age, first of all, she could have sent it online anyway. But, <laughs> but it was lovely that, you know, she felt it was an important thing to do. And how do you set the narrative of something like that? Because there are a number of issues there. You know, you have the Islamophobia side, you have the terrorism side, the capitalism side. How do you focus a story? Well, as John said, I mean, you, you go with whatever you can get in, in very little time that you've got to do it. So you're, you're making all the calculations you talk about, but you're doing it very, very quickly. And the big thing that's changed our job is, is uh, social media, and by that I mean things like mobile phone footage. And, and, and the, the Paris attacks was an extraordinary sort of news gathering operation where it's not just our cameras, but it's, it's what people see themselves, and we have to construct that into a narrative. So it, it, it's distilling ever more quantities of information. And when a story breaks, and you, you touched on it, a lot of the time now news is breaking on Twitter, online, yeah. by civilians. You know, how long does it take for a crew and for you, John, to get out into the thick of it so that you can report on it from the heart of well, the Well, I mean, event? because Paris is relatively close to London yeah. now, we try to get as, uh, as soon as possible. Jonathan dro drove down and was there maybe eight hours, nine hours after the attack, okay. and most of the crews arrived about ten hours after the attack. 
you try and make sense of it, especially on the first day. You try and gather the best and uh, to tell the story as straight as you can, as sensible enough as you can, without falling into false uh, generalization. And I think that that's why Channel 4 News is what it is, because we have one hour and we have the time uh, to, to make sense of things. And that's why I think our, our coverage of Paris was so appreciated. I'd say one quick thing, and that is, if we're privatized, the first thing to go would be the news. It's an extremely expensive product. But justly hmm? expensive. But justly expensive. <laughs> yeah. but I'd, I'd like no, to no, say... no, but absolutely. It's, a pu it's public service and yeah. it's what we, we need and news. OK, we, we see what we see on Twitter, but actual news that's properly researched mm -hmm. and, and produced is a different story. So I hope it's forever more part of the culture. And, and what, Channel 4 being a sort of st uh, owned by, the, by all of us, as yeah, it is. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I sort and of hope so as well, although I'm to completely Lovely. objective about it. Of yeah. <laughs> I'd like to say one thing that's, you know, there's four of us, mm -hmm. but there's 100, just 100 people working at uh, Channel 4 News with, yeah. the, with the smallest television news organisation by some distance. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, everybody on that weekend in Paris volunteered to come in. Uh, people came in all oh, wow. through the night, the Saturday and the Sunday night, helped put out this show. People cancelled holidays, people cancelled. Uh, big family events. Mm -hmm. uh, every single person on, on our team volunteered. People Absolutely. drove overnight. Uh, we all we all, we're, we're just representatives of the whole team. Well, and we're this very, is very for, proud. for all yeah. of those. Thank you very much and well done. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very much indeed. We need to remember the the tragic events that have brought us to this stage tonight, and, and the reason for us making this film. And that's a 19-year-old boy. Nicholas Robinson, who was stabbed to death and murdered two years ago in Bristol.